Shut up, Grunty. I'm gonna go up this hill and hey, look! I got a jig. I got a thing. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture of the piece missing. So, I got a freaking golden puzzle piece that I could just randomly put in a puzzle. All right, works for me. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie with your host, MJ Four Hundred Six. And now we're ready to ah, my bad. Now we're ready to uh see exactly what they meant by the puzzle thing. Yes, the jigsaw picture. Apparently it's for something called Mumbo's Mountain, but I guess I'll listen to you and stand on this podium now. So yeah, these jiggies are meant for filling in these jigsaw puzzles. You use the pieces and then you complete the picture. Once you complete the picture, the level will unlock. So, I'll just put this piece in if you'll shut up. Thank you, Bottles. You really can be annoying. But thank you anyway. So now we can go to Mumbo's Mountain. First level of the game. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Ah, clever. Damn. Oh no! I missed another one of her rhymes. She really can pick the worst time to start saying lines at you, though. Well, there are three new moves to learn in this level. Ah, Mumbo's Mountain. There are creatures called Jinjos that can be collected. There are five in each level. Get them all and you'll get something. Oh, like a Jiggy. Right. And there's also musical notes. There's a hundred of them. You want to collect them to collect the power of music and open note doors, apparently. Damn it! I was hoping it would be collecting the power of music. The hills are alive. Huh. Hey, anyway, let me get out of the water. Please. Ow, bull! Charge! Ow. Oh, yeah? I'm not afraid of no bull. Take that. He'll be fine. He just needs to relax for a bit. Fine, you can keep your dang honeycombs. That's the way you're gonna be. Ah. Lots of notes to collect. Another platform where collection is key. And plenty of angry colorful creatures like that ant. Wow. That's, um, a little frightening. Just a bit. Oh, but now I have eggs. I can use his ammo, apparently. How do I do that? I mean, I do have a bird with me, so I guess it makes sense. So let's take this jiggy. And there's ten in each level. So I need them to progress through the witch's lair. I see. Thank you for your great help. Yes. And when I can leave, I can just go to the platform. I got it, Bottles. Yeah. If you're wondering about the achievement thing not showing up, uh, ha, 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 um, well, I recorded this level already, but my recording got screwed over. So, that achievement's taken already. Oh, whoops. Forgot to learn the move there. So, yeah. I had to do this again because my recording decided to be a bit of a dick. But thanks for reminding about the steep slope thing. Good to know if Bottles is on point about that stuff. Now I get the Talon Trot. So I can go up steep slopes. This is one of the most useful moves in the game. You'll, If you're a player, you'll probably be using it very frequently. Use both the triggers to, to activate it. So you crouch and then crouch again, apparently. And when you, uh, the N64 version, you use the back button, which is Z, and then press left on the C button. Press the left C button. Dang, I always want to call it a C stick. Dang you, GameCube. Ah. See, I can walk around hills on this kazooie bird with ease. Not only that, but it's fast. And now I get to the first note door spell. Sweet! 
Well, I am thankful. Huh? <laughs> there's a big gorilla on top of that tree. <laughs> Give me that. Me hit bear with oranges. Ow, you hit me. Hey, that conga's orange. Put it back. No, thank you. I found it. Yum, oranges are nice. I'm sure you are a nice orange. And I'm the clever bear that found conga's gold. Wow, conga. You're looking real good up there. Now go, excuse me. I'm gonna give this chimp an orange so he'll leave that stump that I want to stand on. Oh, you like the orange? Hey, don't call me fat! Jerk. Yeah, you better give me that. Dang straight. Damn you. Well, I got what I wanted. Ah! This level goes by really quickly, by the way. This is a really good first level for the game, because you really just get all the mechanics down on a level quickly, and you just... It's fast. It teaches you how to do stuff very well. And it's very easy. So I get to learn the ancient ways of the egg, huh? Okay, crouch and press Y to shoot out of the mouth. <laughs> it does sound cool. I completely agree. Well, can you shoot it out of your... A oh, yeah, I guess you can. Thanks for that, bottles. Sounds painful. Well, that's what you should be doing because you're a bird. I mean, you did ask, so that's your fault. Exciting, huh? <laughs> yeah, now I've learned that. Give me 50 to practice. Thank you. Energy's a little low. Fill it up. Thank you. Very generous bottles. Yeah. Another mumbo skull. Oh. Can't do anything with this switch yet. I'm sure the other move in this level will help me out with that. But for now, I'm gonna deal with Conga, since he's being an arrogant jackass. He's safe here. Oh yeah? Can't hit Conga. I just did. Egg hurt Conga. How about another? Nope. Nope. Bad Conga. Yeah, how's it feel to get egged? You give prize to Bear. Well, that's nice. I really showed him what for. It looks like he's back to throwing his freaking eggs. What the hell? Fine. You do that all you want. I'm just gonna ignore you now, since you're being a complete jerk. Ah, oh, the bull woke up! Bad bull! Bad bull! You can't get me! <laughs> you can't cross a thin bridge, you idiot! Get away from me. I hate these things. Ah! So many notes. Which I guess I should mention now. Uh, one of the gameplay tweaks I mentioned actually has to do with the uh, notes. And the Jinjos, actually. You notice the life counter, right? When you lose a life, all the notes and Jinjos regenerate. That's because they want you to get everything in one run. It'll save as a score, instead of just letting you collect all of them and keep them all for yourself. If you don't collect everything on a life, you'll have to recollect everything again. So that could be quite a pain. Which is why I'm thankful for this version, you don't have to do it like that. You can just collect them at your own pace. As long as you get them, you're good. What's a blue stone? What the heck is wrong with you? I got, some, I got some blue things, but they're not exactly stones. More like eggs. Here, have another one. Would you like one more? Eat another egg! Eat an egg! You're stubborn. But give me that treasure you were hiding up there. And give me the treasure inside you! Man. What's with all these guys hiding jiggies? What could everybody here use a golden puzzle piece for? Ugh, the beak buster. I mean, wow, bottles, really? I know you hate Kazooie, kind of, but you don't really have to make me break her damn beak. That's a bit ridiculous. 
Although pounding it, but dropping it from midair into something, I guess that works. You'll be using it a lot. No kidding. You really will be using it a lot. And with that, there's nothing more to learn. So, let's break things. Oh, wait, that was testing. There we go, now we're gonna break things. I just wanted to give it a good test run, Kazooie, you're fine. Ah! I hope there's nobody living in these homes. I'd feel bad if I beat up somebody. Or like crushed them with their house. Eh, but I have things to find. I don't got time to waste worrying about other people. Especially if there are people like that who are willing to hit me. Well, screw you, sir. Yes! And now like all the gingos, I got another jiggy. Jing! Wow! Somebody hit a life inside one of the huts. What the heck? I see a jiggy up there and a jiggy here. I mean, I figured that was the only other thing I could think of inside these huts. And I'm glad it was right. Now I have the move I need to pound that switch. I'm gonna pound that switch. Although I wanna go in here first. What's exactly hidden in here? Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. Why? But I can climb in it. Why why do you hate me? What did I do? Make you hate me so much. Ah! Oh, missed the honeycomb. Right. See, this level's pretty straightforward. You just go around and get things. You mostly how the game works, which is pretty simple. Come on, Conga. Come on, Conga. Let me go pound that switch before I forget to do it. And there it is. Give me that. These switches, these grunty switches you pound, give you the jiggy outside of the level. So in addition to the 10 you find each level, there's access to one outside of the level you need to find. So really, in total, you can find each level's 11. And then you get the one freebie in the beginning. Okay, so where do I want to go now? Eh, there's a jiggy in there. And I see a big freaking skull-shaped hut. So why don't I go in there, huh? Yeah! Eat up! Alright. Hello, mum. Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you like that. Your best shot in the whole game, huh? You can help us out, huh? With your magic tokens. Very well, then. I happen to have five, so... What do you want me to do? Press X on the thing? Okay. Let me just rob your house first. I'm an egg collector and a collector of music. I know my tastes. Very well, thank you. Now, if you don't mind, transform me into something wonderful. I'd very much appreciate it if you could. An ant? I'm an ant? Okay, so I only need to use it once to transform. I can change back whenever I want. Turn my bit small, but not bad for a first spell. My vote practice needed. No crap! You you really just turned me into an ant. Come on, man. This is lame. But either way. That's what Mumbo can do for you. He can transform you into useful creatures. Or not so useful. Where'd you get those shorts? I want them! You can't have them. They're my shorts! Why? Jeez, I didn't know these ants were such fashion freaks. I worked so hard for these shorts. You don't understand. And the backpack. Plus, my friend is in there. Ah! I found all the hundred notes. Well done. You need to do that one life, like I said, which would be kind of a pain. But here, I only have to do it eventually. <laughs> and you even get an extra life for getting all the hundred notes. Man, I got a lot of lives already. 
That's all the ten jiggies! Now let me get that honeycomb. There we go. So, did I do everything? Oh god, I'm about to fall. Yep, I got everything in about 13 and a half minutes. Dang! I'm a speed demon, apparently. Not really. I mentioned the thing about the leaderboards for speed running, right? Well... Oh, some of them are no joke. I think I've seen some for this level take four minutes. They even have for individual levels for finding everything. Like, four minutes? How the heck? Well, either way, I got all the jiggy, so I'm getting out of here. Time to see what else we can climb up. Unless, Mumbo can't control magic outside the level. In which case, well, you can only be Banjo-Kazooie outside of the level. Or at least far outside of it. But now that I have all the moves and all the jiggies, as well as the notes, I can move forward. Thank you, Talon Trot. Such a useful move. But apparently some people don't like the noise that Kazooie makes when she runs. I don't really mind. It's just a thing that happens. And apparently Grunty has musical spells. Must explain why she loves to run- STOP CALLING HIM JAM JARS! I have a reason for you- Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway. How, how many notes do you need? I don't know. Let's consult the number on the door! Damn you, Banjo! It's a combined total of all your best note scores! Ah, sorry, that was a yawn voice. Thanks for filling me up. Man, you're so generous. And we got through the first note door! Thank you, thank you very much! And now we can go further into the lair. I wonder exactly what's further in here. That door, is e that door was easy we got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Oh, your rhymes. Oh, I love them. They seem lame, but they're... In tandem, they work very well for me. And now I found a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to warp in through the lair, because, uh, well... This hub world's pretty big. It's a big hub world that can... It's kind of hard to move your way around. Magic cauldrons make it a little easier if you know where you're going. So let me talk to this freaking fairy thing. Brentilda. I would imagine you're a nicer sister. You at least wear some comfortable clothes, despite how you look. And it seems you hate your sister as well. Yeah, she needs to be taught a lesson. I agree. Oh, God. You know her secrets. What, are, are we, we going to battle her emotionally and psychologi psychologically as well? It'll help me avoid a fiery fate. Okay. I can trust you. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. I see. Anyway, tell me a secret. She brushes her teeth rotten with salted slug flavor. Toothpaste. Oh! That's disgusting. Jeez. What kind of flavor of breath is that? Wash her hair with baked beans. It, it, is, is she expecting somebody to eat out of her hair or something? That's also kind of weird. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. Well, the trash can. I mean, it's cheap. Not exactly clean, but cheap. I give her nods on that. Oh, you don't have to put all of them down right away. You can put the right stick down to get rid of pieces you already put in. Once you put it in there, they're in permanently. So, these pieces fit anywhere. God, these jiggies really are convenient. They can just fit anywhere. Why? I never heard of a puzzle working like that. I don't get it. It accepts any piece it can get its hands on. Jeez. That that's that's weird. Anyway. Ah! You scared me with your cape, bastard. And a color in a different color, so I can't use it. Damn you. And another Mumbo token, alright. Ah. Oh well. 
I'll find the others. Take that, you stupid runt. Ooh. A note door 180. You found some notes, but you need more to break my spell and pass this door. At least she's a good rhyme for telling you you're not good enough yet. Damn her. If only her rhymes weren't so catchy. If only. Damn it. So, wait a minute. Click clock wood. Why can't I put any pieces in here? And what the heck's the... It's a weird puzzle setup, but I'm gonna ignore that. So, do you have any advice for me? Your name was Hog Breath? Well, I don't really mind eating pigs, so... I guess I could get that. Freshly burst boils is her favorite smell. Oh! Why? My belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I have seen my feet. I don't like these sisters. Anyway, tell me one more, if you want mine, since you have three secrets. The hag's favorite color is gruesome green. I mean, my favorite color is green, too. I don't know about the gruesome part, but... What exactly classifies it as being gruesome, I wonder? I would love to hear your explanation on that. Whatever. Maybe it's better I don't ask. I think I've learned the hard way. Anyway. We got another level to go into. Treasure Trove Cove. I, see? We got through the whole first level in the game in one episode. It's really convenient, isn't it? Well, don't expect that trend to continue. The game will pick up significantly. It gets hard and long. Before I turn that into an innuendo, I'm going to end the episode. So come back next time. We'll go into Treasure Trove Cove. Like, immediately, as soon as the episode starts. Man, what a mean cliffhanger that was. Well, hopefully this place at least has some, like, money or gold or something. That would be good. You know, other than just golden jigsaw pieces. Are those even valuable? 